Hello everybody, the unboxing I have for today uh, came out on Tuesday, but I pre-ordered this from Amazon uh, before the movie even actually hit theaters, because if you did, uh, at the time they had it up, you got a free ticket to see it in theaters, um, so I did that, and I decided to keep it for a while in case the price was low, uh, lower than anybody else. And it was for a while. It actually, at the, um, they lowered the price and then they raised it. And then they lowered it again. Uh, so I just decided to keep it. Uh, unfortunately, um, Best Buy did also match. But, um, and they put a bonus disc with theirs, but at the time I could get it, this had already shipped. Uh, I did pick up the Born Legacy from Amazon. It, um, rang up for nineteen ninety nine, just like the Best Buy version did. But um, this was nineteen ninety nine, long before Best Buy was um, giving out their price, and then it went up, I believe, to twenty two or twenty four ninety nine, and then dropped again to nineteen ninety nine. Here is the front. You do get the Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, and ultraviolet. Here's the side. The other side. And the back. Uh, when I did see this in theaters, I didn't like it as uh, much as I was hoping to. I'm thinking maybe a second watch will um, change my mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, my feelings on it, the first view was this was nowhere near as good as either of the other films, and to me it didn't seem like a born film. Um, I just don't know why, but I will, um, uh, I will give this a second watch. Um, but, um, if you have not read the born novels, what happened is somebody wrote, you know, born identity, um, Supremacy and Ultimatum, and then he died, and somebody else took over. If you read those books, just the three, and then you watch the movies, the books are entirely different. Uh, there's so much that happens in the books that either doesn't happen in the movies, or what's weird is they make stuff happen in the movies that never happen in the book. Uh, so um, reserve your judgment if you're going to do that. But here is the front of the actual case itself. Side and the back. And I do realize there is a Target exclusive as well with a steel book. I was almost going to get that because um, when I bought the first three on Blu ray uh, from Best Buy, uh, they came on flipper discs. So I was thinking I'll trade those in, get the steel books, and I'll be fine. Well, the steel books for the first three are also flipper discs. So I'm not doing that. So let's get this open. tight here. Uh, keep in mind the Steelbook, if you're interested for the Steelbook of the Born Legacy, it is not a flip disc, but um, the first three are. Blu-ray was loose. At least it was not the DVD. Take the security tab out. Hopefully without damaging myself. I do say that a lot in these videos, but I've actually done that twice. And uh, one time it was pretty severe. I had myself bleeding. Uh, the first thing you get is your digital copy. It is for ultraviolet and uh, iTunes. Or, I believe you can also use this for Windows. And on the back of that is advertisement for ETN JAWS, which is actually uh, also available on uh, Blu-ray right now. And they said there's more coming in 2012, which is almost over. Uh, kind of disappointed in the disc art, really. There isn't really any. The Blu-ray, I didn't expect to have any... Um, this is what Universal loves to do. 
but just black for the um, the DVD copy. I was really hoping there would be something there. But uh, that is it for the unboxing of the Born Legacy. Um, this is just the regular edition from Amazon. I didn't pick it up from Best Buy because I didn't know that there would be a, um, a bonus disc, and I didn't know that it would be dropping to 19.99. And uh, I knew about the Target edition uh, Steelbook, but I would like to have had them all on Steelbook had the first three not been on flipper discs. Uh, thank you for watching this unboxing of the Born Legacy Blu-ray. I will be giving this another shot to see if I like it as much or better than I did in theaters because I didn't think it was that great. Uh, now keep in mind this is not the worst movie I've ever seen. That's there's far worse movies than this. I just didn't feel it was a movie that belonged in the Born set, um, even though they do mention um, Born a couple times in this. I just didn't feel like it flowed enough to be a movie with the other three. But uh, I will give this a second watch. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.